Spinal stenosis can cause claudication, which means leg pain when walking. In severe cases, it can lead to neurological symptoms. In such cases, or after failed conservative treatment, operative decompression can be an option to decrease the symptoms. A bilateral decompression with two slightly different techniques is demonstrated in this case of a two-level spinal stenosis. The 76-year-old female patient suffers from pain in her right leg, which increases when walking long distances. Radiological examination reveals a spinal stenosis L3-4 and L4-5 with a stable spondylolisthesis in L4-5, myoding grade 1. The patient has no sensomotoric deficits. Conservative treatment with physiotherapy, pain medication and epidural infiltration does not reduce the symptoms. The indication for surgery is given. The patient is placed in prone position on an adjustable table. A posterior midline incision is done above the levels L3 to at L5. The thoracolumbar fascia is opened only on the ipsilateral side. With the help of a microscope, a two-step surgery is performed. The inferior part of the superior lamina and a small part of the medial facet are removed. The table is then tilted to allow a better view to the contralateral side of the spinal canal. The contralateral inferior part of the superior lamina and part of the base of the spinal process are removed. The ligamentum flavum with the epidural fat in the midline is now visible. Flavectomy is performed contralateral and ipsilateral. Then the flavum is resected cranially towards its insertion line at the lamina. Decompression is then performed towards the caudal lamina, exposing the roots on both sides, followed by decompression of the foramen. In the second surgery level, a slightly different method is performed. After bony decompression of the ipsilateral side, the flavectomy and decompression is performed on the ipsilateral side first. Then the contralateral side is decompressed with high-speed burr and kerosene rangeur by tilting the table to the contralateral side. Then the wound is closed.